I made it! It works! It's on a twine! <laughs> A note of warning though, this was one of the most challenging and complicating things that I've done in my culinary career. So don't be alarmed if you see me looking different in some of the footage, because it took me several weeks to get ahead of it. For this recipe we will need 7 grams of gelatin, 2 tablespoons of water, 1 cup of sugar, 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, two-thirds of a cup of corn syrup, half a cup of uh, carrot juice, and half a teaspoon of salt. And from the special tools, we will also need a thermometer, a few twines, a helium tank, and a tube. Step number one, let's bloom the gelatin. Step number two, Mix all the remaining ingredients in a pot, put it on a stove top and bring the temperature up to 255 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay guys, while we are waiting for the mixture to cool down, let's talk a little bit about the recipe. The original recipe comes from the Michelin star restaurant in Chicago called Alinea. You might have seen those edible balloons in the chef's table on Netflix. But if you haven't seen, you've probably seen lots of posts on the internet a few years ago. Once they came up with those cool balloons, it went viral everywhere. But it's really tricky to make, so hopes up. <laughs> <laughs> and I made my uh, recipe um, not with water but with carrot juice just to give some flavor to it and you can use any type of juice as well or water oh guys I forgot to tell you we need to cool down the mixture to 110 degrees Fahrenheit temp number one Okay guys, I think that's as far as I can go. <laughs> I tried about 100 times and I think I'm not able to put a twine on this balloon. I will keep on trying, but just in case, I made a balloon. <laughs> I made it! Aww. It works!
Kiss on the twine. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you for watching this video. I think now I know how to make edible balloons. As you can see. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's very yummy. <laughs>